Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we have learned how to create a domain in WebLogic uh, server, right? So in this video tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you uh, domain we have created. So how, now how we can start the uh, admin server and how we can log in into the admin console. So in so in previous video tutorial we have created a domain with name domain1 so if you go to the uh, web logic installation directory then we have a several folders so there is a folder or directory is called user projects so you go to this so here you get the domains directory and within this whatever domain you are creating that will go inside this so here I had created or if you want to create domain some other location you are free to choose that location as well but I had created domain uh, inside this folder so, and with the name domain one so this is my domain so let's open a command prompt on this location so I have opened a command prompt in this location so if you go to within your uh, your domain then you have you can see a file a cmd file is called start wavelogic.cmd so as we are working on the windows machine so we we'll, can start i mean uh, wavelogic uh, by issuing this command start wavelogic.cmd if you are working on the linux then you will have to use this command to start the wavelogic server start wavelogic.sh right so here let's type we will have to type st and press tab so this is coming over here right start weblogic.cmd and press enter and this is you can see uh, status is getting changed every time and finally you'll get a static a status weblogic in a running mode or something like that right saying that server state change to running that means your weblogic server is completely started now your weblogic server is up and running so now how we can log in into the weblogic server our weblogic admin console so here let's open a, a browser and here we'll have to type http colon slash slash localhost or even you can specify the IP address of your machine and uh, weblogic admin port number was 7001 and slash you will have to write a console now press enter so you'll get, you'll get this kind of a screen just hold on for a few seconds and you get this login page saying that you will have to enter and weblogic username and password so while configuring the domain i had given the username as a weblogic and password as a password one so let's enter uh, username as weblogic and password as weblogic one and click on the login and wait for a few seconds and now we have logged in into web logic and here you can see a lot of things we can do uh, using uh, web logic admin console and here you can see saying that welcome and username is coming over here and connected to the domain so connecting right now i am connected to the domain one so you might have several domains every domain represents a single instance of web logic right and within that domain you can do many things so we'll see one by step by step so in this video tutorial you have seen how to start the weblogic server and how to log in into your weblogic admin console so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial